I need to go laminate those too. you guys welcome back to our channel my name's Kenzie and I'm one half of the sister duo over here today as you can tell by the title of this video I'm gonna take you along as we kind of create and organize my bulletin boards for the entire year I've talked about my interactive bulletin boards before um, in a previous vlog or two I'm gonna show you how I not only create them but how I organize them to make it easier throughout the year for me when things get really hectic. It is currently like 9.30. We need to leave soon because the creating process is actually going to be uh, a whole family affair. We're gonna go see family, they're gonna help me, it's gonna be a really fun time. Um, so I'm excited to take you along. I received the Amazon Basics Thermal Laminator and I also received 200 laminating sheets for that. So I not only am going to cut everything today, but I'm gonna get to laminate it too. Hello, editing Maddie here. I look like a little boy. What's new? Um, I put a lot of effort into taking this B-roll whilst we were at Michael's obtaining all of these wonderful items from McKinsey's bulletin boards. So I feel that we should just go ahead and roll the clips. Right, Kenzie? Right. Roll the clip. cutting today are three bulletin boards. Does that make sense? What you're gonna see us cutting today is for three different bulletin boards. Will I put them all up? I'm not sure yet. Things are still a little iffy regarding the bulletin boards in my classroom. I'm gonna go ahead and cut for all of them and then if I don't use them this semester or this year, that's totally fine. The first thing that I'm laminating for, which I don't need much for, <laughs> What the heck am I doing? The first board, I'm a huge fan of Before I Die walls. I like to find them in cities and things like that. And uh, I think it would be cool since I have ninth graders to go ahead and have them do a Before I Graduate wall. So the only thing I need to cut for that is the Before I Graduate. The Before I will be in like the straight font in a white cardstock and then Graduate will be in this like royal blue color. That's one that I may kind of toss to the side if I don't have enough space because that's something that you can actually make an individual assignment out of but I would rather it be posted in the classroom if possible. Again, this is the before I die wall. I'm gonna make it a before I graduate wall. The next board that I'm really excited for is the interactive journaling wall. This is from the superhero teacher. It's awesome. I really like the hexagonal design and just the way it works. With the hexagons, you have three different colors. So the first of my colors will be this white cardstock, dark navy color, and this glitter. For each of the prompts, they're in like this scripty font. The last one is gonna be the most like labor intensive, I guess. My incentive calendar, talked about it before. Basically what it is, is every month the kids Basically, my incentives calendar, I could have just purchased an expo board calendar or um, a desk calendar or something like that and just put it on the wall, but I'm too extra for that. I wanted something that I could use over and over again. The overall structure is going to be the same. The details are going to be much different. So for each month, the colors are going to change. So for example, this is August and September. This is October. December and so on and so forth. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna take the white cardstock and make the little squares that you would see on a regular calendar and then the month itself is gonna be in a calligraphy font with its specific color and then the days of the week 
tentatively, are also going to be in that color. And what I'm going to do is laminate everything, and then each month I'm going to just expo on the events for those days. I'm done babbling. Madison, don't say I was babbling because that wastes so much time when you do that. But it is time to go. I'm glad I've kind of given you the overview. See you in the next clip. here with my favorite. This is Kendall and I'm gonna give the camera to Kendall and let her just talk to you guys about whatever she wants to talk about. I'm letting her take it away. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> These are gonna be so cool in 10 years. Guys, this oh. is Noah. Say hey. What up? My mom and Mackenzie are upstairs. Oh yeah. And oh, yeah. yeah, let's go back upstairs. I sense a future vlogger. I'm just saying. day yesterday took so long I didn't expect it to take almost six hours to cut everything out but when you think about it I have a year's worth of bulletin boards so I don't know why I didn't think it would take all day so it did take all day by the time that we were headed home it was storming and it was just it was crazy so I wanted to go ahead and show you what all we cut and what that's going to look like put together. For a lot of different reasons, I'm not going to go ahead and put them up in this vlog. I was going to, and I was going to go visit my classroom today, but like I said, yesterday was crazy. Um, today is crazy. Also, I didn't finish laminating some of these things that you're going to see. First thing is, obviously I have three bulletin boards, technically two, but one is a double size, so it's going to hold two displays I guess. On top of those two slash three bulletin boards that are in my room I have this blank space behind my desk and I'm actually going to show you a picture of what's there right now. It's like this little thank you banner. I'm going to take that down and then I have a really cool idea so I'm going to go ahead and have Maddie pop up that picture. So I'm sure you've seen this before and if you haven't you just take clipboards and you put them on your wall and then you have these little inspirational designs behind them. I've already created those. I needed 10 so I got a 12 pack. <laughs> that is not correct. But these are going to be hung up uh, in two rows of five. Um, I, think. I don't know what kind of formation I want to do yet but they're going to hang up behind my desk and I'm going to put those little inspirational flyers behind them. I have one that says find your fire. Hey warrior, keep going. Captivate with purpose. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Say yes to new adventures. This one's cute. Whatever sprinkles your donuts. And then this one is gonna sit this way so that way you know it turns heads and it says be authentically fearless. And then this one says inhale confidence, exhale doubt. And then the last one says you are loved. So those are the ones that I created. It's in two different fonts. If you're interested in any of these, I have them on my TPT 
website so you can check that out those are what is going to sit on this so I'm gonna print them out laminate them and then have them attached to these little clipboards so let's get on to the bulletin boards the first one is going to be my before I die inspired wall which is the before I graduate wall before the eye is right here ignore the rest graduate so this graduate is in a really cute font the next one going up definitely going up is my incentives calendar just like a calendar I'm going to have the month, the days of the week, and then the little blocks to put everything in. These are all of the blocks. Then, I love this. So I have each month, August and September are the same color because we only have one week in August, so I don't know if I'm even gonna put up August because it doesn't make much sense to do that, but I definitely probably am gonna put up September. October, November, December, I love January. February, March, April, and May. I also have the days of the week somewhere around here, but those are just going to go up top and they're white. The last one, and I think what is like my most favorite just because of the design part of it, is the interactive journaling wall board, whatever you want to call it. Our hexagons, there's six of each. We have white, navy, and then we have this glitter. If you want to see them all together. enjoyed this I'm just excited to see what the final product looks like for everything if you're a new teacher or if you're just new here hi my name is Kenzie and I'm a first-year teacher I'm really excited about what this year has in store but that's it for today thank you for watching I hope that you continue to follow me on my journey I will be posting my moving vlog my classroom tour and some other really really fun things especially since I'm coaching too in the next few weeks um, but yeah so go ahead and give us a big thumbs up on this video, hit that big red subscribe button, it really helps us out. Share this video with a friend, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I literally Instagram like every five minutes. I love you guys, thank you so much, and I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next week.